So it's stinking day two with AP and Maestro Fresh West, and we have not left the yard yet. And it is like 2.30 p.m. What's the real time? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. We're not, we're not but that early The fisherman's time. time, 9 a.m. is like 2 p.m. to me. No? Yeah. It's almost like my bedtime. I gotta go back to bed now after I woke up so long and fished all day. Anyway, we got a cat on Perk's bag. We're watching YouTube fishing. Um, yeah, making fun of other people. Meanwhile, my video is probably worse because they're more scuffed up, but I don't care anyway, so it's fun to laugh at others. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go get some perch and fry it on a boat maybe and sizzle my chest. We've been looking for AP, AP's uh, wallet for like 18.5 hours. The last time we saw it was when we were buying Chinese food. Let's backtrack our steps from there. So you went to the, tiny, the, the store and then you went to go buy pop and then your money didn't work because what it kind was- What going on right now? Huh? <laughs> Are you gonna blow? How to blow up AP Bassin? Film while he's looking for a wallet for 18.5 hours. Kaboom it! So we're all ready to leave the crib. Um, I wasn't really ready to leave. AP, I gotta tell you something. AP! Yes. I gotta tell you something, but I promise don't be mad. Well, I've had it the whole time. I just want to create some drama. For the video, sorry, bro. It was. I think it was better for my video, for my footage. So, I've been stressing out. I know that's perfect. I'm, I was like, but we had to go. Paul, Paul, it was like legit. Paul I, let, I let him hang Paul, for like an hour, one point five hours. You know, hey, you were stressing. Look at me sweating. Paul, <laughs> Paul, you want to go fishing? Yes. Okay. Hey. That's my see. dad. I'm gonna call Rob to Turka, <laughs> your dad. Hey, wait, <laughs> hey it was nice fishing with you. Okay, bye, uh, man. <laughs> no, I got an issue. I can't find my wallet. AP. For my wallet! So, uh, we're going to a little outdoor store. We're gonna buy some uh, devices to fry some perch on a boat in 80K wind. I don't know why AP wants to do this, but we're doing it and our chests are gonna be sizzling and he's gonna be Sizzle Chest Junior and I will be Sizzle Chest Senior. What hurts worse, bacon fat or peanut oil? Peanut oil. You know all it is. This chick's dope. Her name's the champ, bro. Look at her. Serious about success. Hey P, I found your future wife. Her name's the champ. Yeah. She's very ambitious. Like the mighty AP. Keeping in the theme of scuffed up angling, uh, you know, we haven't started yet, and this is our our lines look already. We haven't even started, but it's really scuffed up. You know what I mean? We left the day. This is what, this is the end of the day rods look like, and this is the beginning of our day rods. What are the end of the day rods going to look like today? It is scuffed up. So it's about two o'clock, and we're about to start fishing for once. Um, AP is going to go take pictures with a nice family. Everywhere we go, it's like we got to stop and take pictures. This guy's a super, super mega star. It's like hanging out with Michael Jordan. It's insane, bro. Anyway, um, we will be fishing at some time today. Uh we fish Toronto. Today we're fishing Lake Simcoe. This is known for absolutely giant bass. I've caught my biggest bass ever out of here last fall. Um, but today we're not going after bass, like I said. We're going after perch. The only issue is it is a holiday weekend. It's super windy. And there's a lot of boats out here. So it's the conditions aren't prime. We're still going to try and go after these fish. We've got some prototype lures we're going to try. we got the boat in the water. Are you ready? The weather's a little different than last time we were here. Yeah, I was just talking about the weather. Woo! It's, so it's nice. nice. It's so nice out. The old dinner bell, an ice fishing spoon, but we're going to use it for perch. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, this thing sinks so slow. <laughs> yeah, it's a perch. Oh! A little bit small, but it's a perch. We'll start. Put them in, we could go starving, AP. All right, so we're out here right now. Um, we're fishing a reef. The wind's blowing this way on the reef, so we're gonna kinda try and face off this way. 
because um, these fish should just be right off it. And I'm throwing a little dinner bell spoon. Taro's throwing a seven millimeter with a little prototype plastic on there. And we're just using, you know, ice fishing gear for these perch. It's pretty hard to catch them sometimes in the summer. They kind of move around and move around reefs is what Taro said, but he said he's caught some big ones here. So that's kind of what we're doing. We want to catch four to seven fish. We just want to kind of have a little afternoon snack out here. Taro's missing a fish every two seconds right now. Oh, on, on. He lost. Small. Fish on. Yeah. On the spoon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that. So that right there is the beautiful perch we're after. That's a really nice one, honestly. And I was just dragging the spoon. I'm um, just out there kind of bouncing it and all of a sudden just boom. And the key is, you know, with that the, the tungsten that Taro's using, you kind of catch some smaller fish. With the spoon, it kind of weeds out the smaller fish. And right there is a beautiful perch, yummy, yummy tummy in my belly. Okay. So I'm going to throw this perch right in here. Boom, we got one. Taro's hooked up again. Oh, no! no! It was no! a giant, bro. Oh, Damn. my goodness. This is a giant. You rushed him. The hardest part about this fishing is just feeling the jig and the spoon on the bottom. You know, the dinner bell is a very light spoon, so it's just you gotta let it flutter, let it get down there, and then boom, that one hit it. He's using the tungsten jig, which is probably a little bit easier to feel because it's a big, heavy jig. Um, but the little fish can eat that as well because it's so compact. The spoon's bigger, but it weighs less. If that makes any sense. It's a big fish bait. It's a big fish bait. It's just hard to feel it down there. So we're after about five of those jumbo perch. A jumbo perch is probably anything over 12 inches and in the summer it's actually pretty tough to catch big perch um, out here so you got to kind of weed through some small fish and that's what we're doing so perch yum yummy in my tummy this is a big perch but it's a giant <laughs> I got your spoon oh, 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 oh. that's why I felt so heavy sorry man I got your line in the fish you can't feel where your spoon's at not that big but it fought like crazy it's chunky what do you think he is almost 13 we've been out here for what 20 minutes not even not even not even just wham 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 so opposite of yesterday's kind of gig man we grinded and today just like okay where we left off is where it's just it's so good so oh good perch 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 i love my panfish yeah oh it's a giant i don't know i don't think so never know though it's a good one they're just eating this bait we keep that one that's like a 10 incher no. no are we getting cocky or no we're a bit cocky remember yesterday oh, i don't know should we keep it i don't know no okay we'll let it go throw that little one back. yep i already threw that they're just eating this bait it's so good it's a little tungsten it knifes right down there's no little pro type frost bait bite it's so easy to drag and feel in this wind it's just oh delightful fish on no, it's little. Little guy. It's better for me to be vertical on these fish because I can like actually feel it. Like that one, I would just slowly work my rod tip. These fish are all the way in 30 feet of water right now. So they're coming up and just, the spoon's about two feet from the bottom. And golden perch are some of my favorite fish to eat. They just taste so damn good. Oh, right. It's a giant. So what do you, do you usually release fish over like 14 inches or what is what do you release? Yeah, you know what, that might be a bit too big. Yeah. So if you catch one about 14, you want to release it, but that that 12, that 12 to 14 inch range is perfect to eat. Taro's hooked up. Yeah, that's a perfect eater there. What do you think that one is, AP? 11, 12, 11. This is a perfect eater. Like those are the ones I kind of like to keep. It's worth filleting, and it's not like a super tank that you want to release. Perfect eater. I think I got a good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one, AP. I got a good one. Get the net. Could be that big. They're dropping off at the surface. It's a big one. I ain't playing. Oh, we're eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that That's one. That's a nice one. That's 13 maybe, you know what I mean? We're getting better. That is the biggest one of the day. Taro just caught it on a little seven millimeter jig right there. Look at that thing. Crazy, yes. Yeah, so we got wait, mate. We wait. got three now. Yep. Three good ones. We've got three good ones. Our goal was to get four at least, four to six good fish. So we're gonna keep fishing. Um, did that fish come a little deeper? Oh uh, no, I just no. moving around. Just a little moving bit. Around. around. Yeah, we were just moving around. 
Taro is beating my butt with that jig. Uh, that's the only jig I brought. We only have one jig in the boat, so don't. Dad, I want some perch for dinner, Dad! <laughs> I was trying to only catch big fish with my spoon, and uh, that, that theory just went right out the door. We just caught a little baby. But now we're kind of just drifting these spoons out the back. He's still throwing the 7 millimeter. We caught those, those three really nice fish right away, and, you know, we set a cap. We wanted four to six. When you set a cap, it's always the hardest to get that final and fourth fish that we I want. I think I dropped about... Honestly, You've lost some big fish. Yeah. <laughs> Terrell's also lost some good ones. It turns out that we have no clue how to count. We actually had four jumbo perch in the live boat. We thought we had three. We actually had four. So we just spent the last 20 minutes trying to catch a fourth fish when we had it in the live boat. We are so thankful though that we got out here and caught those fish right away because the bite just completely turned off out of nowhere Like we literally smashed them. We smashed them in the first 20 minutes and then boom done finito bite So what we're gonna do now is there's a little beach right by the ramp where we launch We're gonna go there and do a little cooking for you guys I brought my shore lunch box and I'm gonna go over a few things I got a new addition in the shore lunch box as well as a great recipe that we're about to eat So here's what I was catching all the bigger perch on in about 26 to 31 feet of water. And it was really windy, so this key little tungsten jig, what weight was that AP? It's a seven millimeter jig. So it's about, I believe it's like 0.7 grams. 0.7 grams tungsten for this new prototype little flappy. 100 uh, grams, sorry. I'll do it again. I don't know, I don't think it's 0.7. Just say it's a seven millimeter jig. A seven millimeter jig. There's a little flappy um, frostbite a paddle tail. Was it a prototype? You can't show this? Mm -hmm. I think it was phenomenal. Easy, easy. Looks like a little goby. And it was knifing down in the big wind and I could feel the bite so cleanly. But what AP forgot to tell me is it was stinking barbless and they kept coming off out of the boat. He had no idea it was barbless. I was like, why are these coming off? The hook's sharp. And then I realized it was barbless. And AP, you were using what? I was using a little dinner bell. The only issue I had was that it's a super light spoon, so fishing 30 feet of water is a little challenging with it, but still got the job done, caught some really you nice fish. You got our first big one. Yeah, got the first yep. big one. Got a bunch on it. It's just hard to feel. silver color. It's not even uh, painted. I think you would have smacked some real giants on that if it was just a little bit calmer, right? Eh? Yeah, oh yeah. But we still, we did it. We came out here with a mission to catch big perch, cook them on the shoreline, and that's what we did for you guys today. It was like bam, bam, boom, bam. Boom, boom. We out. We Sick, out. bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the greatest. I love you. I'm proud of you, son. Dad child loves you. And you now we're gonna do a little catch and cook. Um, our goal is to get four jumbo perch, and we did. Uh, our biggest was probably about 13 and a bit, 13 and a quarter. But we got four really good ones that we need to do for our catch and cook. Some of them are already dead. Um, yeah, but perfect. And then I'll show you what we're using. Real sick, bro. A little catch and cook. Oh, those are some nice chunkies. Thank you, delicious. It's AP's first attempt with this new burner. Hopefully, it doesn't explode in his face. This thing is weird. We're gonna do a little catch and cook. In and out. That does not feel real hot. Get some jumbos and then whack. Oh, go hotter. There, there it is. Oh, that's because I pulled it out. Say something, AP. We, we might have to move here. We've got a perch. This is a 13 and a half inch perch, our biggest one. We've got four jumbos. We're about to clean them up here on the shoreline of Lake Simcoe and do a little shore lunch for you guys. So stay tuned. We've got four fish here. The reason why we have four is because we don't need to waste them. These fish are freaking big, plenty big, and they're beautiful jumbo perch. And all I'm gonna do is fillet them just like you would any normal fish. like Michigan but I'm used to bluegills crappies and walleyes but 
Let's see it. Here we go. I can tell this guy can't fillet worth crap. Comment below and you be the judge and who can fillet better, me or Peric. I look like I'd be worse, but you know what? I think I'm better. The worst thing you can do is have shells. But no, I'm doing a two, a two stepper here. So first step is egg. Um, actually, that's not the first step. But the first step to do it is crack your eggs and throw them into a bag. And then you're gonna scramble it up. I love Ziploc bags when I'm cooking on the shore because it's just so easy and so clean. Okay, there we go. I'm hangry. Hungry slash angry. You ever scrambled eggs like that? No. I like that. That's pretty ghetto. The easiest way. That's thug life right scrambled there. Scrambled eggs. Look at that. So cool. you kind of you're a famous big time guy, but you kind of live like a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me the way of the mighty homeless. So step one, AP, uh, we did the fillet the perch, and he did butchered the job. Now he's gonna we scramble some eggs in the bag. Which will that? work, but it's kind of butchered. That and, was good. Well, and now he's got powder in his eyes. What's this, flour or the? Beer batter. Beer batter. So we're gonna do an egg. No, we're gonna do a flour, egg, and then beer batter mix. A classic, an all time Canadian favorite. No, we're gonna go beer batter, egg. then egg, and then back to beer batter. Oh, that's sick. Never tried that. This is next level, bro. This is new. I've never had that. It's a good idea. Excited. Back into the, or go into the egg dip it in the egg, bring it out, and then you're gonna go back into this. So kind of like a double one-two punch there. That way you get a nice fluffy batter on there. Then once that's on there, you're gonna put it on your plate there. And we're just gonna do that to every single one of these fillets. Beer batter, egg, beer batter again. Now you know what I don't like? Sometimes you got dough fingers. You ever get yeah, that? I hate dough fingers. You know what I do? I just like twist off my fingertips yep. right back into the pile and then go like that again and I feed it to guys like you. Yeah. <laughs> Some girls. How good is that one? Just a double. Your butcher filet looks not so bad now. No, it's all about the preparation, you know. You could so AP, he's dipped the fish in the beer batter, now he's going back into the egg, and then back into the beer batter after the egg. So it's beer batter, egg, beer batter. Never had it this way. Just make sure that your breading gets on there nice and juicy. When you got nothing in the extra flour, you just use it use two it to, times. Use it to your advantage. It could be better. Could be worse. We'll find out. Stay tuned. So the oil is not quite hot enough, uh, but we don't have a fork to flip it. So keeping uh, my video in the scuffed up theme, I found some uh, chopsticks from the ground, which is just a bunch of wood with some fungus on it. Uh, no big deal. Once it heats up, it, mo it will cook off any fungus or any disease you might get, most likely. But uh, you know what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, AP. But you, you, have to, you have to survive the killing like you it could kill you and then You know like that that analogy doesn't work there because if you eat some weird fungus and die then the analogy doesn't make I sense. hear what you're saying but like <laughs> Why live life scared? Go well, for I've, it. I've got this beautiful knife. I cleaned <laughs> off. That's definitely sanitary. Look at that thing It's, cook, it's cooking. What do you think about th keeping things scuffed up? You're not I pretty like Jay I like, the theme. I like the theme scuffed up. Yeah, I mean we're cooking perch on the side of a marina right now Just to keep ourselves authentic, you know I We're know. so hungry. Pretty weird for the Michael Jordan of the fish game to be living like this. I know, but <laughs> you got scuffed up lifestyle. It's hard sometimes. It's not. It's not always walking the cake. Sometimes you gotta flip. Oh, it's golden up. I just love perch. That's just the moral of the story. The flipping might nice, Matt. They work pretty well. Oh yeah. Don't cost me. So we just bought this at a store, $30 Canadian, not sponsored, um, it, it heats up so fast, it's a butane thing, it's so small, it comes with a little case, dope? Dope, like I'm in love I with think that. you gotta come out with your own Guggen fryer. Honestly, that's Guggenus not a Guggenus fryer. I'd love a fryer. Wow, look at, how, look at how crispy those are. Oh, extra crispy. Perch tempura. Son, I'm so proud of you. Your father, so proud. 
Oh, AP is so big boy now. No BS, not just trying to get like some scuffed up views here, but that looks so dope. You got, he went beer batter, egg beer batter, and I've never seen it look so crispy brown on his like $30 heater. Like, so sick. Is that the realness? That's the realness. What's the method here? Oh, oh, good job, bouncing on. There we go. Wow, you probably just like a fine American establishment. Looks like Popeyes or KFC or something, bro. That's what we're out here to do, is just be the next Popeye. Unreal. There's Popeye's our first fish. fish. You want to try it? You want to be first? Yeah. Okay, yep, here goes sticks. Mama, it's a delicioso. It's unbelievable. Is it actually good? So good. <laughs> Hot oh. Yeah, that just came off the fryer. How can you even eat that? <laughs> That's like 150 degrees. <laughs> Look at how white that is. Mm. Let me see that. Let me see that. No word of a lie. AP, you cook a fine perch. Wow. Beer batter, egg, beer batter. So double whammy. In full effect, y'all. And I like wood and chopsticks. You know what Asian people say? What? My dad taught me. My dad from Japan. He told me. Carl, why you want to kill something already dead with metal? Wood, much nicer, softer on the lips, more respectful. So you're just a savage. You already stabbed that thing with metal. Why stab it again? I don't know. That's what my dad tells me. Does it make sense? Sort of, but maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to go with it. AP, hey, you're lucky you're so scuffed up. You would have never made my video. I know. It's good that I kind of fit the program. Yeah. I thought this big time superstar is going to be too pretty for my brand, man. But you actually can be scuffed up too. Wow, you're lucky you're going to make it. You're going to get about another uh, 500 scuffed up views. How's that feel? I like scuffed up views. <laughs> you, you know what? Your brain is scuffed up also. It is. It's really scuffed up. I guess that's why we get along. I love just these little tinfoil things. They're like a dollar, not even, like 20 cents at a grocery store. You throw your fish in there when you're done. And here we go. This is the uh, first test of Simcoe Lake Perch. Simple Lake Perch, Lake Simcoe, bro. Speak um, English. This is Canadian. Oh my gosh. Deep fried American. I love deep fried. Yeah. Every, every it's so classic. This is so classic. Like yeah. I could taste the classic fish fry on the shores of Canada, like right here. But instead, we're in a busy marina and we're frying fish up like a bunch of hobos. But it's still awesome. It's still funny. Yeah. yeah. I go to enjoy it with my buddy Carol. And Maestro. Maestro, mm. how'd you like Canada so far? Dude, it's it's amazing, honestly. Like, yeah? Maestro's a pretty chill dude, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, Canada's a chill country, you know, so. And you like Drake. You're from... Yeah, dude. And Drake's from here. Yeah, Drake's dope, dude. Drake goes down the street, man. Yeah, we, we'll go meet him tomorrow, hopefully. So, that should be dope. The Drizzy? Yeah, I think so. Time. But can he catch bass, though? I don't think so. Drake? Dude, we should do a challenge with Drake. See if, see if Drake can catch bass, you know? And then fried perch like this? Yeah. Drizzy, I don't think you can take the sizzle chest effect from the grease sizzling your chest. Oh my gosh. Wanna try these? Are they super hot? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what Maestro thinks. The man with the plan behind the camera, my man. Dude, it tastes like like KFC, bro. I know. There you go. You know what I like most about this? perch here when you deep fry stuff after I eat it my heart pinches <laughs> and I feel satisfied if my heart pinches doesn't pinch after I eat it I always say I don't like it I don't want that I need lead your battery we use was called shore lunch where is it from America or you get it here it's America it's oh. classic I've never seen this one here it's called shore lunch like honestly one of the best no BS beer we put the beer batter egg wash and then beer batter again it's like so crispy and so perfect on this $30 heater that we got from sale. Unreal. It's the same one we use for Hot Pot. We're gonna do that, right? Hot Pot, you Let's feeling hot that? Pot. Stay hot tuned pot for our next video this winter. Or never. <laughs> or never. Stay tuned for our next video. We're gonna Hot Pot that uh, ice fishing video. We're gonna put some perch in the Hot Pot, some noodles, some sriracha. Oh, totally different vibe, but so good. <laughs> Here's our last four pieces. Like, on. look at that, perfect. AP, you did perfect. Can't believe it. 
Your filleting was so poor, but your cooking was <laughs> out of the park. Grand slam, bro. And just cleaning, uh, he's cleaning dishes in a dirty sewer. Um, also phenomenal. You're doing great. Like a true homeless man or caveman using his surroundings. He uses a dirty sewer water to clean his utensils. <laughs> and then complains about me using wood as chopsticks <laughs> and calling them not dirty. <laughs> Just chilling. So we just arrived at home with my two little kids here. They're just, yeah. going through, they're just going through puberty now. Physical changes are happening to their body, but um, you know it's hard. They get tired. They're very tuckered out. Poor little guy fished his heart out today. I'm so proud of you, son. Hope you had a good night. In reality, in reality, we were just a bunch of noobs and we fished for two hours and cooked for an hour and a half of those two hours. <laughs>